Hey, hey, hey! It's so awesome that you are here for the first ever Easter extravaganza. We're gonna have an extravagant time together because we are celebrating Easter! You may have already figured this out, but I think Easter is great. I love the crazy fun things we get to do. Have you ever dyed hard-boiled eggs? I have, and I love to do that. Can't say I love eating those eggs as much as I do dyeing them. But you know the kind of eggs I do like to eat? The candy ones. You know, the ones with like the, the chocolate shell, but then on the inside, they have that gooey, gooey, um, yolk-like thing inside. They look totally real, but they are definitely not. Those are so good. Do you agree? Have you had those? I have to admit though that I love the Easter candy, but there's just something that happens whenever I have an empty basket in my hand and I get to go on an egg hunt. Do you guys like finding eggs? I don't know what comes over me, but I go from like pretty chill to beast mode in seconds, annihilating anything and anyone that gets in my way. I dare anyone to come near the eggs that I have my eye on. It kind of brings out the worst in me. Well, you guys should look at that a little bit. Well, anyways, thanks, thanks for joining me this morning. Let's get this Easter extravaganza going.
you showed some excellent dance moves and probably to the awe of the peeps around you. Hey, speaking of peeps, you couldn't have an Easter extravaganza without doing something fun with these little puffy, sparkly marshmallow guys. I could not go through an Easter without eating like a million of these guys. Hey, I wonder just how many of these we, we can eat in two minutes. I think we should find out. Do you? Um, sure. Two minutes, you say, huh? Two minutes. In fact, let's see if you can eat more. Okay, so what you're saying is we have two minutes to either eat the peeps or see how many we can eat in two minutes. So if I eat all of them, I beat you. And I'm a pig. <laughs> right? Is that, that what? She's wanting to prove that I'm a pig. Or that she's a pig. One of the two. So I... I'm up for the challenge. I, I think we can. I think we can do it. So, who do you think can eat more? Please Ooh. use the comments and type in your answer. All right. So, if you think, so you, so the live chat, right? The live chat. If you think that Sergeant Major Melanie is going to eat more, I want you to just chat Mel or go Mel or cheer her on. Um, if you think I could eat more. I, how many do we have in these buckets? Do you remember? We have 20 of these. 20. Oh. Do not try this at home, please. I have a feeling I'm going to have a serious stomach ache after this, but I'm ready. Um, let me see if I can get a two-minute challenge countdown here. Two minutes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure you're ready? I'm not sure if I'm ready, but let's do it. I love these double guys. I just said I'd eat a million of them, so okay, let's do it. Here we go. Let's see. The timer will tell us when to go. Now, go! Oh my goodness, I need 
Frage. seeing it how, who, who do you think well, all right let's see i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so if i started with 20 that means i ate seven. Oh, you definitely beat me look i only ate seven in two minutes oh my okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you ate three. Mm -hmm. I told you I'm a pig. <laughs> but I love these things. Oh my goodness, but wow. Okay. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought I could eat more actually than seven. Oh, that two minutes though. But that was super fun. That it was. That is probably the fastest I have ever eaten peeps in my life. So, uh, thanks for that. <laughs> okay, now let's see how much you know about Easter candy. Ooh. This could get messy, but it's okay. Check this out. All right. Egg smash. Guess the correct answer or get a surprise. How much money do Americans spend on Easter candy each year? A, $12,789. B, $1.9 billion, or C, $2.99. B, $1.9 billion. How many jelly beans do Americans eat during Easter? A, 29 million. B, 20 million. Or C, 16 million. C, 16 million. How many marshmallow peeps do Americans buy each year? A, 175,000. B, 700 million. Or C, 950 trillion. B. 700 million. How many chocolate bunnies are made in America each year? A. 90 million. B. 78 million or C, 35 million. B, 
A. 90 million. Which part of a chocolate bunny do 76% of people eat first? A. The feet. B. The ears. Or C. The tail. B. The ears. I hate to ruin my Easter hairdo. <laughs> well, having a good time at Easter by dyeing eggs and eating candy and having fun with your peeps is great. But there is something more. There's a reason that Easter can be an extravaganza. It's because God did something extravagant when he sent Jesus to the earth to take on the punishment for our sins. So I got a basket of Legos with me today. And, and I thought I'd show you what I mean by making this. When Jesus lived on earth, he showed love to everyone he met. But the way he showed love often made people who were jealous of him very angry. In fact, over time, they got so angry that they made stuff up about him to get him arrested. God knew that people like you and me would choose to do wrong things. Those wrong things are called sin. You see, God made the world and loves each person, even though we sin. God sent Jesus to take the punishment for all the wrong things we do. That's the real reason Jesus was arrested and punished with death on the cross, even though he had never done anything wrong. As Jesus was dying, there were two men on either side of him. One man made fun of Jesus, saying, Hey, if you are really the one who came to save, why can't you save yourself? The guy on the other side of Jesus got angry and replied, You and I have done really bad things that deserve punishment, but Jesus has done nothing wrong. When Jesus heard those words, he looked at the man who clearly loved him and said, Today, you will be with me in heaven. Shortly after that, Jesus died. Three days later, there was an earthquake at the tomb where Jesus had been buried. An angel rolled the stone away to show that Jesus' body was no longer there. Because of his love for us, God raised Jesus back to life. Knowing Jesus is alive is the best news we could ever have. It proves that he has the power to defeat both sin and death, and that we can trust him. When we commit to following Jesus, his power over our sin makes it possible for us to have a new life and live with him in heaven one day. And that's why we celebrate Easter. I've ever made. Instead of doing things that I wanted to do, I started doing things Jesus wanted me to do. It has literally flipped my life around. Hmm. So today we all need to know that Jesus is alive. Matthew 28 6 records what the angels told the group that checked out the tomb. They said, he is not here. He has risen just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. That is our key point and our key verse for today. He is risen. Jesus is alive. We've got a color page that reminds me us of just this verse and point. Make sure to print it out and color it. Please feel free to share your pick of the finished product in the comments to this video link or on our Facebook page so we can all be reminded of this key verse. There you go.
Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yay. They were pretty smart. Did you get that one right? All hey, right. Last question. Here we, we go. Do. I think it's the last God question. God made the world and loves each person, even though we, A, pick up, B, sweat, or C, sin. This one's pretty easy, right? I thought okay. I think so, too. What are you saying, C? I'm, I'm going with C. I'm going with C, too. Yeah. Um, we all hiccup and we all sweat, but we definitely all sin. So I'm pretty confident in this one. Do you think they got this one? I think they did. I hope so. Otherwise, oh yeah. Let's see. No! Oh! How could they miss that Hiccup? one? Did you miss it? See. Sin. Tell me. Tell what me. What is All the right. best news we can Here we ever go. have? A, that we're going on a trip. B, that Jesus is alive. Or C, that we uh -huh. don't have any homework. I say B. I'm done with B. I say B. I mean, although going on a trip is some great news and not having any homework is also some great news, the best news we could ever have is that Jesus is alive. I, I think we saw that in the verse and, and in our story. So I hope, I hope that they got this one right. Um, what do you think? You think they'll get it right? All right, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see if they got it right. Yeah. Yeah! Jesus is alive. There you go. All right. So how did you do on the egg smash? We did pretty well. If I was actually doing an egg smash, I would have only had one egg smashed on my head. So that's pretty good. So thanks for joining in our game. Really, I have one more review game that I want us to play. So right here in front of us, I have these egg cards. And each egg card is either a good egg that has a trivia question on it or a prize egg. And so the good egg cards have a question. If you get the question right, you don't get any points. But if you get the question wrong, you get points. If you get a prize egg, then you get to subtract a point. So if you got a question wrong, it kind of erased any points that you might have earned. So at the end, we will add up whoever, um, what our points look like, and that's how many eggs we have to choose from this basket. Some of them are hard boiled. Some of them are raw. I do not put them in the basket. You do not put them in the basket. So we do not know. The only agreement is whatever egg you pick, as soon as you touch it, you have to stick with that egg. All right? All right. All right? All right. So let's do some questions first. See what our points add up to. Um, you can pick You can pick the card first, but... Uh, I will look at it because if it's a question, I have to read it. So go ahead. Which, is, which one do you pick? This one. It's a good egg. All right, so here's your question. <clears throat> Jesus ate a meal with some of his closest friends just before he died. What was that called? The Last Supper? It is the Last Supper. You still have no points. You got that right. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to pick this all right, go for it. It's a good egg. All right. What's the world record for number of peeps we eat in two minutes? 37 or 100? Oh, heavens. We were only, I was only able to eat seven in two minutes. So the thought that the world record would be 37 or what, 100? Yes. People are crazy. So I'm going to say 100. A man named Mass Deli is the world record holder for eating a whopping 100 yes. marshmallow peas. Yes! No points, no points. All right, go ahead, pick. You got a good egg. Good egg. How do you get the scripture questions? On what day of the week did Jesus die on the cross? No help from the audience in the room. Sunday? No! He was crucified on Friday. That's why it's called Good 
Friday. Did you tell her Sunday? I told her Sunday. <laughs> Don't listen to Captain Chris. Oh, that's terrible. He just cost you a point. You, you just cost her a point. That is so mean. Hopefully you get a prize egg to, to okay. I'm gonna pick this one. It's a good egg. All right. Okay. About how many chocolate buddies are made at Easter each year? 90 million or three billion? She gets all the trivia questions. I do. 90, I'm not looking at any of you out there because you're gonna leave me wrong. Not billion or trillion? I'm, I'm gonna go trillion. It's gotta be a large number. Not almost 90 million chocolate buddies are produced at every Easter. I got a point. We're even. One, one, four. Good egg. Aha. The man who invented Easter egg dye worked as a chemist or a pharmacy owner? A chemist or a pharmacy owner? Let's see. I'm going to try chemist. Mr. Townley owned a pharmacy. In the 1800s, he invented Easter egg dye tablets at his store. You now have two points. Okay. All right. I'm going to pick this one. Good egg. True or false? The first Easter baskets were meant to look like bird's nuts with eggs placed in it. It is true. The tradition for giving Easter baskets started in Germany and was meant to look like nuts. Uh, That's right, two, I got two. my second point. Let's do this one. All right. It's a good egg. How many days was Jesus in the tomb? Three days? Yes. It was three days. I must have found a prize egg yet. All right, we're gonna go with this one. Okay. It's a good egg. Okay. About how much do scientists believe the stone in front of Jesus' tomb weighed? 750 pounds or 2,000 pounds? I'm gonna say 2,000. The stone in front of Jesus' tomb is believed to weigh between 2,000 and 4,000 pounds. Good egg. How much do you think the world's largest Easter egg weighs? World's largest Easter egg, 50 pounds or 5,000 pounds? The world's largest Easter egg, 50 pounds or 5,000 pounds? Let's get 5,000. You can visit the world's largest Easter egg in Canada. Ooh, ooh, Canada. It's 31 feet tall and weighs 5,000 pounds. How is it not rotted? I don't know how it's not rotted. Mine. Good egg. Jesus was crucified on a hill called... Hold on. Well, on. What do you think it means? Lamb or skull? Skull. I know that word. It means skull. <laughs> Still at two. All right. Good egg. Why did Jesus have to die? For our sins. I will take that answer. Take our punishment. I will take that answer. You're still at two. That's fine. Good egg. Did Jesus die to take the punishment for the wrong things he did or for the wrong things we do? The wrong things we do. Alex for 200 points. <laughs> prize egg! Prize Yay! egg! Prize egg! So now you are down to one point. Oh no. Okay. This one! Ha! Prize egg. <laughs> so now okay. we're both down to one. I got another prize egg! Oh. So. I got a prize egg too. So that means that neither one of us have to break any eggs. I don't know if that's the one in the end of this one. What do you think? <laughs> Alright, so I you don't have to, Sergeant Major. I will I will take out my prize egg one. Hold I will on, still pick on, two. Hold on, hold on. Let's do it this way. I have a number between one and oh, two. Oh no. 
y'all need to pack and you can't go over. You got how many eggs we have to finish? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Then I took one. <laughs> no. We have to get as close to your number. Stop right here. All right, I picked seven. Oh, it's over. Hey, no, 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 all right, uh, I'm going to go for this one. Oh, this doesn't feel good. Okay, one, two, three. Oh! <laughs> That's one. And That's more left. Cold. Okay.
Remember, because Jesus is alive, we know that God made a way for us to follow him. And following Jesus is one of the ways that we show God that we love him. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray together. Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for our punishment for our sins. And thank you for coming back to life so that we can have friendship with God. Help us to celebrate that you're alive today and every day. We love you. Amen. All right. Well, it's time for us to hop on out of here. I hope you have an excellent day.